Hey guys, I'm LB, and we are in Thinking with Time Machine to play Horologium by Aesir16. Or is it Horologium? I'm not sure. Anyway, welcome to Horologium, my first chamber for Thinking with Time Machine. This map is of easy medium difficulty and features a light bridge. Hopefully this is the first in a series of Thinking with Time Machine chambers. As always, feedback is appreciated. Alright, well, well, let's get started then. Interesting, that opens that. So let's, uh... Let's record. Stand on this button, I suppose. That should be sufficient. And let's play it back. There we go. And this is the way to get back in there, if we need to do that. Need to put a cube there. Hmm. This activates the light bridge. That's good to keep in mind. Alright, since this is thinking with Time Machine, I'll, I don't have my custom portal colors and stuff. Whatever, it's fine. This is a cube dispenser, and that's the button we need for it. Gotcha. Right. Well, let's just go ahead and record standing here for a while, that should be fine, right? And... Let's go ahead and stop recording there. I think that should be fine. Right, but how do I get up there? That's a good question. Hmm. I didn't really think that through. I mean, I can do that, but... Huh. What exactly can I see from up here? Oh, I can see that surface. Really. I'm not sure this is intended, but I'm gonna try it. Let's play. And do this, and I will stand on this side of the portal. <laughs> Forgot about that. Yeah, I'm not sure this is intended, but I'm gonna do it. There we go. And I've got the cube, we can put it on the cube button. What has that done for us? It's done a flip panel in here, right? Oops. Let me look through this window. Yeah, it's done that. That'll allow us to cross to that side, right? And then we're gonna wanna bring the cube through to here, right? Where does this... where does this other ant line come from? Hmm. I don't actually know. There's another ant line here, and I don't know what it's connected to. Oh, it's connected to that button. Okay, that makes sense. Alright, so... Let's record starting here. Record... Ah, oh, crap. Let's, let's stop recording for a second. Didn't actually mean to pick up the cube. Record... Pick up. There we go. And... drop. And then, we stand on this button. Right, now what? Because, uh, hmm. I need to factor in the light bridge to this. Let's, let's, uh, yeah. <laughs> let's override our recording real quick. And head through here. So, we need to factor in the fact that we need to use the light bridge. Hmm. Because I need to use the light bridge to get across initially. That cube has to stay there while we're using the light bridge. And the thing is, after I make my recording... After I make my recording, I'll be on that button, which means I need to be able to get... I'll need to be able to get back into here. To shoot a portal there, after I start the recording. After I start the playback, rather. Hmm. Okay, then. That means... We need to also start the recording there, so that I can- I can start the recording temporarily to get through the door, and then stop it so it doesn't pick up the cube and all that. Hmm. What's the best way to do that, though? Thank you. 
maybe I need to start- I'll start the recording pressing this button, that seems like a good idea, actually. Alright, so then I just stand here for a while. My future self will go through, using the light bridge to get across to the other side. And I think this should be enough time, approximately. Right, so then we take take this cube. Oh come on! Oh, well, I guess this works too. I didn't actually want to grab it. And then we go and head through here ourselves to stand on this button. And that should open the exit. That's enough. Let's temporarily play it, and then we'll stop it when we get through the door. There we go. Now let me put this cube back in position. I looked down too early, which was the problem. Because, uh, after you press use... There's a few s like a second after you press use where you can still pick up the cube. Also, that's a very big hitbox. What the heck? How can I pick it up from that- It's not even on screen, and I'm pressing E and it just picks up magically. Maybe they expanded the pickup range for this game or something. I don't know. But anyway... Let's try this out. There we go. And now we just wait a while for the clone to deliver the cube to us. Which we can watch on this screen here. What the? Where's the cube? Is that just a visual bug, or...? What happened to my cube, man? Where's the cube?! Um. What the heck? Uh, also, I'm trapped. <laughs> hey, Sears? Uh, yeah, I'm definitely, definitely trapped right now. Well? Well. I guess we just need to restart. <laughs> Oh, man. Right. So. <laughs> I think... Let's see here. So the first thing we need to do is this, right? Yeah, I think that's simple enough. This one particular Puzzle Maker music song, I hate. I just don't like this one in particular. Alright. that, and jump down here. There we go. And I'll put the cube somewhere safe, so I don't pick it up accidentally. Alright, let's save. We'll do this as normal. Alright, that should be enough time. So then we will take the cube from here. And put it over here.
And then I have to go through here... ...and stand on the button. Alright, that should be enough time. Let's put the cube in position, and we should be good to go without trapping ourselves this time, assuming the cube cooperates. Save... ...and... let's see here. There we go. Now we can walk across. And now we just watch the clone do its thing. Maybe this time it'll actually pick up the cube without making it vanish into thin air. There we go, now that's working properly. I don't know what happened the first time, but that was bizarre. There we go, thank you for the cube. And we're out of here. Alright, well guys, as always, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it, and I will see you all in another video. Goodbye! I can't upload a map with a trapping situation.